I have got some really, really exciting news in this episode of the podcast. Hi everyone, I'm Pam Barnhill and I have helped thousands of homeschoolers create doable systems, beat burnout, and bring more joy to their homeschool day. Welcome to episode 43 of the 10 Minutes to a Better Homeschool podcast. Okay, today's podcast is a little bit different. I am joined by my customer service manager, Don Garrett, and my co-author of Gather, Exploring the Wonder, Wisdom, and Worship of Learning at Home, Miss Heather Tully, and we are going to be talking all about a special event that we are having. We are doing our very first morning time retreat on the beach in Pensacola Beach in January of 2023. And so what we have here is an excerpt of a conversation where we talk to you all about what the retreat is going to be about. So have a listen and I'll be back at the end to give you a little more information. Hey there. Okay, so I am here with my good friend Don Garrett, who is the community manager at Your Morning Basket Plus, and then Heather Tully, who is my co-author of Gather, Exploring the Wonder, Wisdom, and Worship of Learning at Home. And we have a fun, exciting announcement to make, don't we? <laughs> Super exciting, especially for this Northern girl. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> at your house, it usually snows in January. It does. But where are you going this January, Dawn? I'm going to Florida, <laughs> but not Disney World. <laughs> but not Disney World, no, no. <laughs> so we are announcing the first ever retreat, like morning time retreat. Mm -hmm. We're calling it We Gather Together, mm -hmm. and we are going to be gathering together on the beach, Pensacola Beach. In January. Mm -hmm. Some of it's you may be going, why? <laughs> but I looked the other day and like the average temperature in January in Pensacola Beach is like the mid 50s. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Uh, that does sound that sounds better than what it's going to be in Ohio. Yeah. And that's I'm not going to pack my sleeveless top. No, no, you'll <laughs> still need a sweater. You'll still need a sweater. But um, the beach in Florida in January, trust me, we have snowbirds come down. We have all of these people come down from up north to go to the beach down here um, in the winter. So it, it really, really is going to be a great time. And this is a We Gather Together retreat where we're going to be talking all about morning time. So... Mm -hmm. Anybody want to tell us what we're going to be doing? Well, we're going to do some morning time. Um, we're going to, in in my Charlotte Mason world, we call them immersions, where you get immersed in doing the lesson as if you are a student who's doing the lesson. And so you kind of are observing doing uh, what the teacher is doing, but you're also participating. And so we're going to do some morning time together, which I'm super excited about. But not too early in the morning because it's a retreat. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a retreat. <laughs> yeah. And so the idea came from, the idea to do a retreat came from, I uh, actually spoke at a beach retreat at this same house. So um, and you'll get to come over. We'll have pictures on the website of the mm -hmm. house and where we'll be staying and everything. But um, Nicole Bailey from Making Family Count ran a beach retreat for moms last May in May. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the speakers at this particular retreat. And it's this beautiful house on uh, Pensacola Beach. And Nicole did such a fabulous job of creating this kind of very restful, relaxing atmosphere for homeschool moms. And I spoke and Jessica Waldock spoke and it was just a really great weekend. And then while I was there, I started sending messages to Dawn and Heather <laughs> saying, I really like this idea. I would love to have some moms come down here and have a morning time retreat. And that's kind of where the idea was born from this beautiful house that sleeps like 30 people. And um, it's it's massive. It's actually two houses joined together with a door mm -hmm. in between. Wow. So there are two kitchens, two living rooms, and then a bunch of bedrooms and bathrooms and everything. And so you can get a bunch of people in this house and it's right there on the beach. You walk out the back deck and you just walk straight down and you're right on the beach. And I thought, wow, it would be fun to have this kind of immersive event for mm -hmm. moms 
And then we started talking about what we were going to do. And um, Heather, I think you were the one who said we really need to hold a morning time for moms. Yeah, I think I I think we've both been asked, like, what does it look like to be the student or how do I do it as a mom? And I think when you get to sit in one, it helps you start to see it in your mind and then you can go home and and mm-hmm. be part of that. and to bounce ideas off the other moms who are there. Like, what do you do in morning time and what are the ages of your children and and What's your favorite resource? So getting to chat together also, I think is going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that I learned a lot about doing morning time from sitting in on Heather's morning time. Lo, these (laughs) 14, 15 years ago. Okay. That's so much fun. That hadn't even occurred to me until now that, um, and Heather and I have a podcast and we'll have to, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll put it in the description mm-hmm. and we'll drop it in the d- little description for this podcast. I did a podcast with Heather about mentoring other moms through morning time because Heather was mm-hmm. Dawn's mentor and she got yeah. her started doing it all so many years ago. So this is great because now we get an opportunity to mentor up to 30 more moms, you know, yeah. doing morning time. So this is, this is going to be fabulous. Yeah. So I ended up, I approached Nicole and I said, Hey, we want to do this morning time retreat. I'm not so sure that I have all of your gifts. (laughs) And so Nicole is actually partnering with us on this because she has run a retreat before. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the food will be provided, all of the food will be provided. The rooms are just lovely. There are a number of different room options. So Mm -hmm. if you're like, um, you know, I would like to bring a girlfriend and we would like to get our own room. We don't want to share a room with anybody. You'll have that option. Or Mm -hmm. if you're like, I don't want to share a room with anyone. We will have a couple of options for people to stay off house at like a hotel. Uh That was the thing that, that kind of came up with the last retreat. If there were some, there were a couple of people who were like, I would really love to come and experience this, but I do not want to share a room with anyone. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to have a, a, that option available for a limited number of folks. And then, um, then we also have like the dorm room option (laughs) available (laughs) and there are different price points for all of those rooms. So Mm -hmm. if you're sharing a room with a bunch of people, it's obviously a different price point than if you, you get with a friend and you have a room by yourself. So the pictures that you sent of the house and the room, they're so pretty. Yeah. Look very comfortable and, and inviting. Yeah, it so. was, it was a really great place to stay, which brings me to, so we, we've said, we're going to do morning time mm-hmm. uh, together. And mm-hmm. what else are we going to do? Cause that's just the morning. We have some evening activities planned and those are still in the works. So the more information is coming, but there'll be some evening and then there's some downtime because we do want it to be a retreat. We want Mm -hmm. it to be refreshing. And so you can participate in some afternoon activities, or maybe you want to take a break and sit on the beach or take a nap. (laughs) So I I love that flexibility because all moms can maybe in January after the holidays, I think the timing's perfect. Um, Mm -hmm. A little bit of refreshment and encouragement before that, you know, February funk happens where we are. Yeah. 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 So I think it'll be a good mix of, we talked about having things to do, but also having time for refreshment and downtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much so. And those, I think those evening sessions, those are going to be kind of like, um, we were, t- we're going to do some devotional sessions, uh, kind of like some discussion book discussion sessions, um, but also some practical things as well. Mm-hmm. So striking that good balance there. And then those afternoon, what we're calling kind of, um, the optional <laughs> sessions are the occupations who named them occupations, Charlotte Mason, <laughs> afternoon <laughs> occupations. <laughs> Tell me about that, Dawn. <laughs> well, so Charlotte Mason, famously, her schools were only till lunchtime, especially for younger kids. Um, and then they'd have afternoon occupations and handicrafts and nature study and music practices and things that you occupy your time with in the afternoon or your afternoon occupations. And uh, so that we want to offer you some some opportunities to experience some of those. 
Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So we will have some of those occupations in the (laughs) afternoon that you can choose to participate in, or you can say, you know what, I really don't have an interest in this one, or I value my time on the beach without my kids. So I'm going to go sit down on the beach and read or hang out in my room and read a book or chat with some of the other moms or, or something Mm -hmm. like that. And so we really are going for this kind of, uh, luxury, relaxing, like what's the word I'm looking for? Directed, but laid back. Yes. Tailored to you. So you can create Mm -hmm. the kind of thing that you want. Mm -hmm. So we, we will have the morning time in the morning and we will have the event in the evening, and then we'll have the options in the afternoon. And then of course, meals mm-hmm. together. And the uh-huh. meals were great when we were there before we had um, snacks in the afternoon and we had um, a wonderful dinner each evening. And then there will be uh, some, some great breakfast options as well. Yeah. So that'll be good too. Pensacola beach is easy to get to. You can drive uh, down there if you're within, you know, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia. Heather's going to (laughs) drive and she's coming from Georgia. Dawn is probably not going to drive the whole way. Have you decided yet? I haven't decided yet. I might drive to Heather's and then like go from there. So if you have a stopping place, you can drive from Ohio. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But there is a, there is an airport there and uh, a number of ladies to the last retreat that Nicole did flew in. Um, Mm -hmm. And they were able to do to do that. So we are just so looking forward to this. Never done anything like it, but I'm so stinking excited. And I think it's going to be a massively fun, good time. Fun and refreshing. Like I'm just excited just just to have that time with other mamas. And Mm -hmm. we look so I (laughs) (laughs) Pam, Pam will probably make me make my bed, though. (laughs) <laughs> I tell you what, I won't come into your room. So. Okay. <laughs> I just won't come in your room at all. And then I won't know if your bed's been made or not. So. <laughs> I'm sitting out of everybody's room. My bed will be made. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. Well, well you can wear your PJs to breakfast. We won't tell you. Oh, totally. you, can wear, you can wear your PJs to morning time. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I will probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> but you can if you want to. You totally can wear your PJs to morning time mm-hmm. and definitely like be relaxed for the evening session. And I think that's the big thing is like we all just get to hang out together. And so, mm-hmm. you know, we'll have the more formal sessions, but in between the formal sessions, you know, if you've ever wanted a, a chance to pick the brain of a mom who has 10 kids and who's been doing morning time for what now, Heather, 20 something years, 19 years. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably, 19. Yeah. Like this is your opportunity. Heather will be there so you can pick her brain. <laughs> so it's going to, it's going to be a lot of fun and just, I think it's going to be great to hang out together. So yes. Yeah. Well, so much so. All right. So if you are interested in the retreat, come on over to pambarnhill.com slash retreat, and we will have all the information for you there. So you can get all the details, get signed up, Mm -hmm. save your spot, save your room, go ahead and start like, you know, sending hints to your husband that this is what you want for Christmas, (laughs) those kinds of things. And yeah, we cannot wait to see you when we gather sure, together yeah. on the beach in January. It'd be so, great. Yeah. So fun. And there you have it. Now, if you would like to listen to the rest of this conversation, you can find it on the Your Morning Basket YouTube channel. And if you want more information about the retreat, that can be found at pambarnhill.com slash retreat. And if you have any questions at all that we have not covered for you, either in this interview or on that page, please reach out to us at info at pambarnhill.com. We would love to chat with you, give you all the details and help you make a decision about joining us at the retreat in January. I will be back again next week. Next week, we're going to be talking all about the benefits of homeschooling your special needs child with my guest, Shauna Wingert. Until then, keep on homeschooling.